Hey guys, it's Adam again, and welcome to another episode of Metzger Munchies. So today we're going to be inviting you into our kitchen and showing you how to cook a couple different meals you could actually go ahead and cook in your kitchen at home. One of those is going to be bacon and broccoli salad. The other one is cheesy broccoli chicken and rice, and it's absolutely to die for. So you stay tuned and find out how you can make your own. Today we're making broccoli and bacon salad. So let's look up that recipe. So first we need eight ounces of crispy bacon, crumbled. We need two heads of uh, broccoli, chopped. We need one cup of mayonnaise. And then we also need a third of a cup of onion, chopped. Quarter cup of sugar. We also need three quarters of a cup of raisins. A half a cup of sunflower kernels. And just a pinch of salt. So first, let's go ahead and get a bowl. And we'll take broccoli and we'll cut that broccoli into florets and place it into a medium bowl. So as you can see, you just have to cut them down really small. So that way they're in small pieces versus having to have one giant piece of broccoli. So now that we've done that with the two heads of broccoli, we're gonna go ahead and fry this bacon until it's crispy and then we're gonna set it aside and let it cool down. You may wanna put it on a piece of paper towel so that way it absorbs all that grease. And then we're gonna chop an onion and actually take a third of a cup of that onion and mix it in with the broccoli. You don't gotta chop it finely, you just gotta chop it. And then we're gonna take some Duke's mayonnaise, and we're gonna take a cup of that Duke's mayonnaise and we're gonna mix it in with this salad. It doesn't have to be Duke's mayonnaise, that's just my favorite mayonnaise that I've found that I like. We're gonna go ahead and take a quarter cup of sugar and we're gonna add that into that broccoli mixture. And then we're gonna take this and put some of this white vinegar in there. It can be white vinegar, red vinegar, it doesn't matter. And the, then of course we're gonna put the sunflower seed kernels in there. And then add a three quarters of a cup of the raisins to the mixture. And then we're gonna go ahead and take that bacon that we talked about earlier. We're gonna chop that into small pieces. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be big chunks, small chunks, whatever size you want. You take that bacon and put it right into the, the salad bowl, essentially. And we're gonna go ahead and mix that with a wooden spoon. You can use whatever kind of spoon you have. I just used a wooden spoon. And we're gonna mix that up and make it so that it all incorporates. And after it's all incorporated and it looks great, we're gonna put a lid on it and put it inside the refrigerator. And then it's just gonna stay there for at least an hour. All right, now we're gonna make the cheesy broccoli chicken and rice casserole. Really good, I promise. So first we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take two 12 ounce bags of steamed broccoli florets. We're gonna need boneless skinless chicken breasts one tablespoon of smoked paprika, one tablespoon of onion powder, uh, one tablespoon of garlic powder, ground sage, one cup of jasmine rice, two cups of chicken stock, one cup of Velveeta, we're gonna cube that up. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take one and a half cups of Colby Jack cheese, one half a cup of Grand Cru cheese, and then we're gonna need one and a half cups of milk. So first, let's go ahead and set our oven to 375. All right, there we go, that's perfect. And there's our spices. I always use smoked paprika, onion, and garlic in my stuff. 
it's just anytime I make something that needs some spices, I use the t one tablespoon of each of those, and that's good. And then I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of ground sage in there and stirring that up and mixing it up just because chicken and sage go really well together. So we're gonna go ahead and season our chicken breasts. We're gonna put a little bit of black pepper on there. And we're also gonna put some table salt on there. I have Himalayan salt, the pink Himalayan salt. You don't have to have a grinder. You can just use a salt shaker if that's what you have. And then we're gonna take this homemade spice mixture and just put it all over the chicken. And then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna cook that jasmine rice. First things first, we need to go ahead and measure out two cups of chicken stock. There's our chicken stock. We need to go ahead and put it in a pot that I have, medium sized pot. Turn the burner on high and get that boiling. Now that it's boiling, let's put the jasmine rice in there. We'll put a lid on there. Mmm, that rice smells good. It smells like ramen. And now we need to grab one can of cooking spray and spray down that pan that we're putting our chicken breasts on. It doesn't have to be disposable, it's just what I had lying around the house. Put that in the oven and we'll let that bake for about 15 minutes. And then while it's baking, cook our broccoli florets. So put it in the microwave and cook it as directed. Make sure that they're done. So the way that you make sure that they're done is you go ahead and open the broccoli florets and you're gonna put that in a bowl. And then what you do is you actually go ahead and take a fork and poke into it and make sure that it's fork tender, meaning it doesn't stick to the fork. Now that the rice looks like it's absorbed most of that water, we're gonna go ahead and fluff that rice and we're gonna put it into the bowl with the broccoli and mix that up and set that aside for a little bit later. Cool, so now we're gonna go ahead and take the chicken breasts out of the oven. We're gonna cut that open and what we call a butterfly, which is basically cutting the chicken breasts in half. And as you can see, the chicken wasn't done. And that's why we're going ahead and cutting it in half so we can make sure they do get cooked perfectly. Put those back in the oven. Take those out after another 10 minutes. And that chicken should be fully cooked at this point. So if you flip those breasts over, you'll see that there's no pink in those chicken breasts at all. So that's fantastic, that's what we want. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut that chicken into strips. And we're gonna go ahead and take those chicken strips and mix it in with our broccoli and rice mixture. So what we're gonna do is just pour that broccoli and rice into a bigger bowl because I accidentally picked a bowl that was too small. And we're gonna put that chicken in there and mix that all up. We want it all incorporated together so that way it looks good. So now we have to make our cheese sauce. So we're gonna go ahead and use cream of mushroom soup. And then mix that with some Velveeta cheese. The other thing you wanna do with your cream of mushroom soup, you wanna go ahead and put some milk in there, a half a cup of milk to make sure that it's not too thick before you put your Velveeta in there. So we're gonna go ahead and take this Velveeta, we're gonna cut it into cubes and the cubes are gonna be just normal, about an inch size cubes. Just as you can see, I mean, there's no particular way you have to do it. And we're gonna go ahead and just put that with the mushroom soup and the milk. And then we're gonna mix our two cheeses together. Put about three quarters of a cup of the Colby Jack cheese and then just top off the other quarter cup with the Grand Cru cheese. Put it right in the cheese sauce. Um, it does take a little bit to incorporate that cheese in there. Um, but once it is all incorporated, it'll be a nice creamy sauce. As you can see, let's we'll go ahead and pour that right into the broccoli and chicken and rice. And then you have your cheesy broccoli, chicken and rice. So then we'll go ahead and we want to bake this because as you can see, it's kind of thin. Put that right in that pan and spread it around. Make sure it's to the edges. And then we're gonna take the rest of our cheese that we didn't mix in with the cheese sauce and put it on top as a topping. So once you do that, we'll go ahead and put it in the oven and we'll bake that at 375 for 25 minutes. And after 25 minutes, it'll be great. Mmm, 
That looks and smells delicious. And tonight, our broccoli dinner is paired with Welch's Sparkling Sangria, non-alcoholic beverage. So here we go. Here's our meal. Broccoli salad and our... This is our cheesy broccoli chicken and rice. We're gonna, I think we're going to do the salad first because that's always the first thing you want to do. So I'm gonna... It looks really good. Mmm. Mmm. Sweet. Then you get that hit of bacon right there at the end. Pretty good. I like the onion punch. Really good. I'll definitely make this again. It's all right. So the rest of that for later in that does my palate a little bit with the sangria. Not bad. First time I've ever had it. That's different. This looks really good. I did my best to kick it up a notch. Mmm, that smells delicious. Mmm. Sorry, it's hot. I don't want to burn my mouth. You don't get the fuck to really good. Right? It is very good. Like the, I think the Grand Cru cheese actually gives it that little extra punch there that otherwise would be missing because every other cheese was kind of a soft cheese. And that Grand Cru cheese was a harder, more flavorful cheese. Well, guys, make sure you try this next time you're in the kitchen at your place. Because this is definitely a meal worth trying. And I would eat this again ten times over. So thanks for watching. And until next time, eat well.